What is up guys, Joe CES11 here, and welcome back to the second episode of my Tottenham career mode on Football Manager. So we're going to kick things off here by selecting our season's expectations. Um, and I'm just going to go for a Champions League, I think. Uh, yeah, we've got the extra 4 million, which could come in useful with some of the players we're looking at. Uh, which I will show you in a second. And I don't think we're quite there for the title challenge yet, but I would hope that we got more than European qualification. Now this is interesting. We've got two offers here for Adibayor, one from Swansea and one from Liverpool. They're both offering the same amount. We're just going to have a look at these offers and see if there's any underlying clauses that could come up. Uh, the one from Swansea is just a straight up five and a half million. Let's take a look at the one from Liverpool. That too is just a straight up five and a half million. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and accept these. I know that I probably could get a bit more money for him, but I just want to get rid of him, to be honest. So, yeah, we'll accept these. Here's the big day has finally arrived. It's time for us to meet the media. So, I'm going to answer these questions in a passionate way. I'm very passionate about this club. So, do I feel the expectations have been fair? Uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. I really think we can win the champ well, not win the Champions League, but, you know, qualify. Um, what is it about the job that appeals to me? Uh, Oh, I do, I do share the philosophical view on football, that attacking possession game. Yeah, I do share that. Facilities are fantastic. I'm excited about the opportunity to work in this environment. Yeah, the facilities are no less than expected. While some managers are famous for the hands-on approach, others maintain a more reserved manner with their players. Uh, I want every player to know they can come to everything. Uh, players need to be valued as footballers. I'm going to go for this, this one here. We stand here today unveiled as a new Tottenham manager, as a big fan of the club, surely this must be a dream come true. I cannot stop smiling, yes, obviously, if that was real life, that would be me. Uh, it's often said that managers favour different competitions, or well, the Premier League is my main focus, yes. Europa League, I'm probably going to play a weaker team in that. Not too weak, but second string. Oh, um, defence is definitely one I'm looking to strengthen, but also the midfield, but mainly the defence, so we're going to go for that. Yamba Tongan, he is not leaving. No, he is staying here. Yamba Tongan cannot leave. Right, so that's our first press conference over and done with. Sorry, I just had to give in. I just can't stand this guy at the club anymore. And paying 26k and not playing him is a lot better than paying his, what, 80k a week wages and not playing him anyway. So, yeah, I'd rather just get rid of him. Now, well, guys, first friendly game of the preseason up against RBL. By the looks of the names, it looks like... It's a German or Austrian sort of team. Apologize if I'm wrong, guys, but I really have no idea. We're sticking with the same team that we set up in the previous episode. We've got Rose, Fazio, over Tong, and Yedlin in defence. Paulinho and Bentaleb playing those midfield roles. Chadley and Lamella on the wings. And Eriksen playing that pivotal playmaker role with, of course, big Harry Kane up front. And we can't forget Lloris in goal. <laughs> Let's get right into this then team talk of the season we need to encourage the players show them that we've got faith uh yeah with the favorites they want them to impress me oh i was expecting a bit more of a positive reaction than that nonetheless looks to gain confidence couple of listen keenly let's try just make some uh individual comments to the positions no pressure on you no response there passionate i'm expecting you to take control of the midfield i am expecting them to do that we should absolutely dominate this team First game of the season kicks off. They had kick off. That's passing it around a little bit. Hopefully we can get the win in this one. Looking for Harry Kane to score a couple of goals. Get him off to a good start. Oh no, that's not good. He's giving it away. Oh, that was lucky there, Lloris. Got to watch that one. Oh gosh, looking a bit shaky early on in this game. Oh, Eriksen stolen the ball, is he? That's Chadley. Up to Kane. Go on, hold it up. Okay, nothing happened there. Good counter-attacking. Looked like it was coming together though, so I'm happy with that. Happy with how things are going. Oh dear, they got the chance here. Good tackle. It's gone straight back to them though. Oh dear, it's not looking good. Not looking good. It's gone out to the wing. They're going to put the ball in the box. Ah, oh, and they scored. Don't believe it. We're losing to RBL. This is not good. I'm really not pleased with that defending there. That was absolutely abysmal. I don't know what was going on. It's just a standard header, there's nowhere was the marking, it's all over the place there. Alright, so kicking off again. 
really want to see something better from this team. Ventilev's got a bit of a run going on here. Plays through to the Lamella. Go on, son. Take the shot. Kane. There we go. Harry Kane's off to the start. We wanted him to get off to. There we go, lads. Come on. So, half time and it's one all. It's not it's been a bit of a shaky start, but we did pull it back a little bit towards the end of the second half there. I'm not happy with the performance though, so pre-season now, all of your hard work will pay off later in the campaign. Keep going, we're going to go for that one. Oh, and he's looking to switch off. That is always lovely from your centre-back. He sw did switch off a little bit during that first goal though. So we're just going to give these, you have the ability to make a different team talks. And we'll get right back into the game. They've got the ball again on the edge of our box and they've played it through. Oh, they played it across the box. Oh, no. There we go. That's 2 0 down now. This is not looking good, guys. I think I'm going to make some substitutions. So, guys, I am going to completely switch things up here. I'm going to go on the attack. And instead of structured, we're going to go to fluid. I want a bit more movement around the ball, a bit more off the ball movement, provide some more options. That means we're going to change these instructions. So, we're going to roam from our positions. We are going to be more expressive as well. And uh, what's this? Uh, play wider. Yes, yeah, so we want to create a bit more width. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. It's 3-1. This is not looking good at all. And it's an own goal as well. Oh my gosh, what has happened? It's all falling to pieces, guys. Only the first game this season. Always room for improvement, I guess, but... RBL, never even heard of them. Should be winning this one easily. Alright, let's make some subs. Alright, so Dardo... You come on. It's going to give everybody a chance to prove their worth for the team at this stage. Townsend can come on in place of Chadley. We've got Mason in the midfield instead of Bentelev, who's looking a bit tired. Dembele, I'm going to keep Ericsson on because I feel like he could still play a part in this game. Davies to replace Rose. Dyer can replace Fazio. I have not been impressed with him. He scored that own goal, and I feel he was largely at fault for the first goal as well. Alright, so guys, nothing's really happening. We're going to go to overload, try and score. Oh, hang on. We've got a chance here. Mason to Ericsson. To Lamella. Oh, it's hit the bar. Close, but not close enough. Still got the corner, though. Hopefully we can create an opportunity from this. Ericsson into the box. The Tongan. Oh, the keeper saved it again. That's another corner. Ericsson's going to put this one in. Oh, no, it's Davies this time. He's going to put this one in. That's gone back to him. He's going to pump it back into the box, hopefully. Oh, they've cleared it for a throw-in. And that looks like the end of the game to me, unless we've got a couple more chances here. Vaughan boots the ball up the pitch. Mason. Mason's dribbling. Got, oh, no, he's being dispossessed. And Barg is going to give that to Lamberty. And they're just going to... Uh, look at the ease that is breaking down the defence. I'm not happy with this at all. No, see, that is not that's not good at all, guys. We do not want this to be happening during the season. A Premier League team is going to absolutely tear us apart. There we have it, full time, we lost 4-1. Alright, this is not going to be a happy team talk, I would not like to be in this dressing room now. You're not good enough, we should be winning. There we go, fired up and motivated. Hopefully that motivates them to win the next match. Alright then guys, that's it for this episode. The next episode will be out tomorrow, which will be Thursday. And that will feature the game, another friendly game against Bolton. And also some transfer action, I'm going to look at some scouts that we can send out some players to look at focusing on that defensive area as that 4-0 on sorry not 4-0 4-1 four four thrashing shows us that our defense is not nearly as solid as we thought it was so yeah please like subscribe and uh leave a helpful comment if you feel like it cheers